Hello everyone, welcome at ISOP Academy. In this tutorial we will go through calendaring in Web Client. There is a bunch of useful features which can save you quite a lot of time doing work. Let's start with new appointment. It's simply up to you whether you decide to create event for your own, invite other guys or organize the web meeting. Easiest way to create your own event is to select the time range in the calendar and just write title of the event. Once you'd like to invite other persons to some event, you can click on New, right here on the top. This will arise a new dialog where you can configure the whole event. Title is just up to you. Location can be some text you'd like to use, or you can also select from company's resources, like meeting rooms, and so on. Select Show As, as you wish, and select the time range of the event. If you select to be reminded prior to the event start, Web Client will notify you using Reminder dialog, and Iceverb can also send you email reminder. If you are using smartphone with your account and synchronize data using Exchange ActiveSync technology, you will also receive direct notification on your phone. Well, until now, everything I have mentioned so far is the same for personal event as well as web meetings or organized meetings. Changing this event into the web meeting is so easy. Just check it here. If you prefer to invite other guys to this event, go to Schedule tab, right here on the top, and type in all persons you'd like to invite. Each line then represents one person or resource for scheduling. Here on the right side, you can check whether or not those invited persons are free or busy in proposed time of event. Colored displayed in the calendar are described right here. As I can see now, Casey would be busy in the proposed time, so I can change it so we all can meet all together. OK, so we are done for now. I have set a title, location, time, and even invited several guys to this event. Last step is to save it. This action will also send invitation to all those I have invited. And now let's check out whether I have already received the notification from the meeting room. And yes, I have already received a big meeting room confirmation that room is booked just for my event. Let's see how it looks like on the other side. I have here the Casey. And as you can see, Casey just received the invitation from me. She can accept, decline, propose new time, or set it as tentative. So she will accept the meeting. It will automatically go into her calendar, and I should also automatically receive the confirmation that Casey just accepted my invitation. So this is how calendaring and inviting other guys works in Icewarp. Well, now we know how to create calendar events, accept them, or even how to organize the web meetings. What if I remember that I have scheduled dinner with Casey, but forget when it should be? We can use the search field, right here, on the top right corner. Type few keywords, and the results are here. Dinner with Casey, 22nd of February, 7 p.m. So we went through basic calendaring in WebKind, organized event, accepted invitation, and talk about resources or reminders. In the next video, we should talk about calendars management, sharing configuration, adding shared calendars, and all other options for calendaring in ISO WebKind. Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend you our next video, which is, as well, related to Icewarp. See you there. Bye.